Ethiopian cuisine Amharic, characteristically consists of vegetable and often very spicy meat dishes. This is usually in the form of wat, a thick stew, served atop injera, a large sourdough flatbread, which is about 50 cm in diameter and made out of fermented teff flour. Ethiopians eat most of the time with their right hands, using pieces of injera to pick up bites of entrees and side dishes. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church prescribes a number of fasting TSOM, Gies, Psalm, excluding any kind of animal products, including dairy products and eggs periods, including Wednesdays, Fridays, and the entire Lenten season, so Ethiopian cuisine contains many dishes that are vegan. Overview A typical dish consists of injera accompanied by a spicy stew, which frequently includes beef, lamb, vegetables and various types of legumes, such as lentils. Grage cuisine also makes use of the false banana plant enset, gies, inset, a type of insette. The plant is pulverized and fermented to make a bread-like food called kocho or kocho gies, which is eaten with kitfo. The root of this plant may be powdered and prepared as a hot drink called bulla gies, Bula, which is often given to those who are tired or ill. Another typical grage preparation is coffee with butter kebi. Kita herb bread is also baked. Pasta is frequently available throughout Ethiopia, including rural areas. Coffee is also a large part of Ethiopian culture and cuisine. After every meal, a coffee ceremony is enacted and coffee is served. Restrictions of certain meats Both Ethiopian Orthodox Christians and Muslims avoid eating pork or shellfish, due to religious reasons. Pork is considered to be unclean in both Ethiopian Orthodox Christianity and Islam. Many Ethiopians would abstain from eating certain meats, and would mostly eat vegetarian and vegan foods. Traditional ingredients Berber, a combination of powdered chili pepper and other spices somewhat analogous to southwestern American chili powder, is an important ingredient used in many dishes. Also essential is niter kibbeh, a clarified butter infused with ginger, garlic, and several spices. Mitmita Amharic, IPA, MIT MITA is a powdered seasoning mix used in Ethiopian cuisine. It is orange-red in color and contains ground bird's-eye chili peppers piri piri, cardamom seed, cloves and salt. It occasionally has other spices including cinnamon, cumin and ginger. In their adherence to strict fasting, Ethiopian cooks have developed a rich array of cooking oil sources—besides sesame and safflower—for use as a substitute for animal fats which are forbidden during fasting periods. Ethiopian cuisine also uses nug, also spelled nug, also known as Niger seed. Topic: <laughs> Dishes. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Wat. Wat begins with a large amount of chopped red onion, which is simmered or sautéed in a pot. Once the onions have softened, niter kebi or, in the case of vegan dishes, vegetable oil is added. Following this, berber is added to make a spicy keiy wat or kii sebi. Turmeric is used instead of berber for a milder alicha wat or both spices are omitted when making vegetable stews, such as akkilt wat. Meat such as beef, saga, chicken, doro or derho, fish, asa, goat or lamb, beg or begi is also added. Legumes such as split peas, kk or kiki, and lentils, msr or bursin, or vegetables such as potatoes, dinch, carrots and chard, are also used instead in vegan dishes. Each variation is named by appending the main ingredient to the type of wat e.g. kek alicha wat. However, the word keiy is usually not necessary, as the spicy variety is assumed when it is omitted e.g. doro wat. The term akkilt wat is sometimes used to refer to all vegetable dishes, but a more specific name can also be used as in dinachana karat wat, which translates to potatoes and carrots stew. But notice the word atkilt is usually omitted when using the more specific term. 
Topic: <tibs>, Tibs. Meat along with vegetables are sautéed to make tibs, also tebs, tibs, tibs, etc. Gies, tibs. Tibs is served in a variety of manners and can range from hot to mild or contain little to no vegetables. There are many variations of the delicacy, depending on type, size or shape of the cuts of meat used. The mid-18th century European visitor to Ethiopia Remedius Prutki describes tibs as a portion of grilled meat served to pay a particular compliment or show a special respect to someone. This is perhaps still true as the dish is still prepared today to commemorate special events and holidays. Kinchi Kinchi is a very common Ethiopian breakfast, its equivalent of oatmeal. It's incredibly simple, inexpensive, and nutritious. It is made from cracked wheat, Ethiopian oats, barley or a mixture of those. It can be boiled in either milk or water. The flavor of the kinchi comes from the nidir qibe, which is a spiced butter. Oromo dishes Wadi, also known as tibs, specially seasoned Anshote, a common dish in the western part of Oromia Walaga. Badu, also known as Abe Marka, also known as Genfo Chechibza, also known as Kita Koko, although also known as Kocho, it is not the Grage type of Kocho but a different kind, a common dish in the western part of Oromia Walaga. Ito, also known as Wat, comprises all sorts of Wat, including vegetables and Maya Chuko, also known as Beso, a sweet flavor of whole grain, seasoned with butter and spice Chuko, barley conserved with butter, is traditional food of Oromia region in Ethiopia. It is traditionally made by women from barley powder mixed with a sufficient amount of distilled butter, along with ginger, onion, salt and spices. Chuko is easy to prepare in a short time, and is full of protein because of its barley content. To make it, first barley is husked and then roasted over a fire. It is then pounded into a powder. Over this powder, a sufficient amount of butter and spices is added, and mixed to create the finished, piquant product. Individual portions of chuko vary between 2 and 5 kg. Chuko can be stored for up to a year without spoiling. Chuko is both a part of the everyday diet and prepared for special events. It is popular among those on long journeys or away at university because of its long shelf life. It is also prepared for holidays and festivals. It is traditionally related with Oromo weddings, served by the bride's parents to the groom's best men. Chuko is mainly produced for home consumption, but can also be found at local markets. Production of chuko is totally dependent on the production of barley. Therefore, in times of drought or bad harvests, production subsequently decreases. It is also becoming more difficult for many families to prepare due to the high price related to the large quantity of butter required. It is also slowly losing its importance related to wedding customs, and is being replaced by imported products new to the market, meaning fewer people are left who know how to and continue to prepare chuko. The traditional products, local breeds, and know-how collected by the Ark of Taste belong to the communities that have preserved them over time. Chororsa, a common dish in western part of Oromia Walaga. Grage dishes Topic <inaudible> Kitfo Another distinctively Ethiopian dish is kitfo frequently spelled ketfo It consists of raw or rare beef mince marinated in mitmita gies mitmita a very spicy chili powder similar to the berber and niter kibbeh Gourd gourd is very similar to kitfo, but uses cubed rather than ground beef. Topic Aib. Aib is a cottage cheese that is mild and crumbly. It is much closer in texture to crumbled feta. Although not quite pressed, the whey has been drained and squeezed out. It is often served as a side dish to soften the effect of very spicy food. It has little to no distinct taste of its own. However, when served separately, Aib is often mixed with a variety of mild or hot spices typical of Grage cuisine. 
Topic: <laughs> Goman Kitfo. Goman Kitfo is another typical grage dish. Collard greens, goman, are boiled, dried, and then finely chopped and served with butter, chili, and spices. It is a dish specially prepared for the occasion of mescal, a very popular holiday marking the discovery of the true cross. It is served along with ayib or sometimes even kitfo in this tradition called denjesa. Topic: <laughs> Breakfast. Fit fit or fur fur is a common breakfast dish. It is made from shredded injera or kitcha stir fried with spices or wat. Another popular breakfast food is fatira. The delicacy consists of a large fried pancake made with flour, often with a layer of egg. It is eaten with honey. Chechibza or kita furfur resembles a pancake covered with berber and niter kibba, or other spices, and may be eaten with a spoon. Genfo is a kind of porridge, which is another common breakfast dish. It is usually served in a large bowl with a dugout made in the middle of the genfo and filled with spiced niter kibba. A variation of full, a fava bean stew with condiments, served with baked rolls instead of injera, is also common for breakfast. <laughs> Snacks Typical Ethiopian snacks are dabo kolo, small pieces of baked bread that are similar to pretzels, or kolo, roasted barley sometimes mixed with other local grains. Kolo made from roasted and spiced barley, safflower kernels, chickpeas and or peanuts are often sold by kiosks and street vendors wrapped in a paper cone. Snacking on popcorn is also common. Topic: <laughs> A gersha var, gorsha, gorsha, is an act of friendship and love. When eating injera, a person uses his or her right hand to strip off a piece, wraps it around some wat or kitfo, and then puts it into his or her mouth. During a meal with friends or family, it is a common custom to feed others in the group with one's hand by putting the rolled injera or a spoon full of other dishes into another's mouth. This is called a gersha, and the larger the gersha, the stronger the friendship or bond only surpassed by the brewing of tej together. This tradition was featured in The Food Wife, an episode of The Simpsons that uses Ethiopian cuisine as a plot point. Beverages <inaudible> 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 Traditional alcoholic beverages There are many different traditional alcoholic drinks which are homemade and of natural ingredients. If we can explore and introduce for their rest of the world, Ethiopians have many different traditional drinks which are as good as beer and whiskey. Topic 1 Tela Tela is a home-brewed beer served in Telebet, Tela houses, which specialize in serving Tela only. Tela is the most common beverage made and served in households during holidays. It is an alcoholic drink which if prepared from bickle barley as main ingredient and gesho for fermentation purpose. <laughs> 2. Tej honey wine. Tej is a potent honey wine. It is similar to mead, which is frequently served in bars, in particular, in a tej bet or tej house. It is prepared from honey and gesho, it has a sweet taste and the alcoholic content is relatively higher than tela. This drink can be stored for a long period of time. The longer the time the higher the alcohol content and the stronger the test. Topic. 3, areki, and katakala. This is probably the strongest alcoholic drink of Ethiopia. Non-alcoholic beverages Ethiopians have diverse traditional non-alcoholic drinks which comprises natural and healthy ingredients. Topic. 1. Kanedo aka Karibo 
This is non-alcoholic traditional drink, it is mostly used as substitute for tela for those who don't drink alcohol. Topic 2. Board. This drink is famous among the southern Ethiopia regions. Topic: <inaudible> Manufactured drinks. Just like the rest of the world, Ethiopians also enjoy several locally manufactured beers, wine, and non-alcoholic products like Coca-Cola and other similar products. Ambo mineral water or Ambo WUHA is a bottled carbonated mineral water, sourced from the springs in Ambo Senkele near the town of Ambo. Non-alcoholic brews hot drinks. Atmet This is a barley and oat flour based drink that is cooked with water, sugar and kibe Ethiopian clarified butter until the ingredients have combined to create a consistency slightly thicker than eggnog. Though this drink is often given to women who are nursing, the sweetness and smooth texture make it a comfort drink for anyone who enjoys its flavor. Topic: <laughs> Coffee According to some sources, drinking of coffee is likely to have originated in Ethiopia. A key national beverage, it is an important part of local commerce. The coffee ceremony is the traditional serving of coffee, usually after a big meal. It often involves the use of a jebina, the clay coffee pot in which the coffee is boiled. The preparer roasts the coffee beans right in front of guests, then walks around wafting the smoke throughout the room so participants may sample the scent of coffee. Then the preparer grinds the coffee beans in a traditional tool called a mokecha. The coffee is put into the jebina, boiled with water, and then served with small cups called saini. Coffee is usually served with sugar, but is also served with salt in many parts of Ethiopia. In some parts of the country, niter kibba is added instead of sugar or salt. Snacks, such as popcorn or toasted barley or kolo, are often served with the coffee. In most homes, a dedicated coffee area is surrounded by fresh grass, with special furniture for the coffee maker. A complete ceremony has three rounds of coffee a -B -O -L, tona and, barica, and is accompanied by the burning of frankincense. <laughs> Tea, chai Tea will most likely be served if coffee is declined. See also List of African cuisines A review on traditional fermented beverages of Ethiopian